Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are digging this up from the topic of limits. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that limit x tends to zero, <clears throat> e raised to ax minus cos of bx minus cx e raised to minus cx upon 2, the whole thing upon 1 minus cos of 2x is equal to 70. <clears throat> so this is given to us that limit of this entire expansion of the function is equal to 17. And we have been asked to find out what will be the value of 5a square plus b square. So we need to find the value of this entire expression. And there are four options given to us. One is 64. 68, 72, and the last option given to us is 76. So we need to figure out which one of the following four options is the correct answer for the question given to us. Let's try to solve this. So if I try to solve this expression first, limit x tends to zero. It has given to me e raised to ax minus cos of bx minus cx e raised to minus cx by two. The whole thing upon 1 minus cos of x. So if I try to solve first the part in the denominator so that the limit of the entire function becomes a determined form so that we can cancel each other and get 17. And because of that, we should not get an undefined form. So if I try to evaluate this denominator first, I get 1 minus cos 2x is basically 2 sine square x. If I have 2 sine square x, what I'm trying to do here is I'll multiply my denominator by x square. So from there, I can write this as sine x upon x, the whole square into x square. <clears throat> we know limit of x tends to 0. Sine theta upon theta is going to become 1. So you get 2 into 1 square into x square. So basically, your denominator is turning out to become 2x square. So I'll try to frame my entire numerator also in terms of x square so that those x square and x square gets cancelled out and whatever are the coefficients that are left out, we will equate that equal to 17 because that is giving us a determined form and giving us the answer as 17. So we'll try to convert our entire numerator also in terms of x square. So if I use the idea, first of all, the Taylor series, to solve our question, we know that e raised to ax, if it is there, I can write that expansion as 1 plus ax plus a square x square by 2 factorial plus a cube 3 x cube upon 3 factorial and so on. Right? If I try to write e raised to minus cx also in this form using the idea of expansion of e raised to ax because I have e raised to minus cx also. Because of minus c, it will become 1 plus minus cx. So it becomes minus cx plus minus cx the whole square. So c square x square upon 2 factorial. Again, you get minus c cube x cube upon 3 factorial and so on. I'm just writing it till x square because I need only the expansion of the terms on the numerator till x square so that I can cancel x square easily. We don't need to write it further. And we have been given one more expansion that is cos of bx. So cos of bx, if I see it is 1 minus b square x square upon 2 factorial plus b raised to 4 into x raised to 4 upon 4 factorial and so on. So we have this entire expansion of cos bx also. We have written all the terms to x square. Now let's just put that in the limits. So we have limit. <coughs> x tends to 0, the first expansion was e raised to ax, which was 1 plus ax plus a square x square upon 2 factorial minus cos bx, which is 1 minus b square x square by 2 factorial plus 
not plus, we had minus minus Cx. So minus Cx and e raised to minus Cx by 2. So minus Cx by 2, if I put it, e raised to minus Cx, which is 1 minus Cx plus C square x square by 2 factor. So I will, instead of writing the entire expansion, I will just write 1 minus Cx. We don't need to write plus C square x square because we are going to multiply this with Cx. So C square into x square will turn out here only. If I write plus, if I write, let's example, if I write C square x square by 2 factorial also, if I'm going to multiply it with x, it will turn out x cube. And we don't need the powers of x more than x square because we just need to cancel it with the denominator. So if I try to write the denominator here, I can write that 1 minus cos 2x as 2 sine square x. And once I write 2 sine square x, I'm dividing by x square and multiplying by x square on both sides. This entire expansion is given to me as 17. So if I try to solve it further, I get limit extends to 0. 1 plus ax plus a square x square by 2 minus 1 plus b square x square by 2 minus multiplying this cx by 2 plus c square x square by 2 again. The whole thing, if I am applying the limit here also, you get 2 sin x upon x the whole square into x. That is equal to 70. So from this understanding, what I get here is 1 and minus 1 gets cancelled out. If I try to take x common, I have ax minus cx by 2. So if I try to take in the numerator, next step, let's do it. Limit x tends to 0. If I take out a x common, I get here a and minus c by 2. And if I try to take out x square common with the remaining terms which I have, so this is x square, this is with x square, this is with x square. So you get x square by 2 common, you have a square plus b square plus c square. So if I write it, I can write that as plus a square plus b square plus c square upon 2 x square. This entire thing with the limit if I'm applying sine theta upon theta here, I can just apply that limit for x tends to 0. So 2 sine theta upon theta, that is 1. So 2 into 1 square, that is 2 x square is equal to 17. Now for this limit to turn in a determinate form, that is we can solve it for further and get it 17. So that we do not get an undefined answer. We understand this coefficient of x which is present, that should become equal to 0. So because of that, this term of x would not be present. And when this term of x is not present, I can directly cancel x square and get the value of this entire coefficient equated with 70. So if I have this coefficient a minus c by 2 should turn out to become 0. So from this, I get a is c by 2 or I get this further as c is equal to 2. So if I have c is equal to 2a, this entire term cancels out to become 0 and you get limit x tends to 0 a square plus b square plus c square upon 2 x square upon 2 x square is equal to 70. And with this, I can just cancel out x square and get a determined form. I do not get an undetermined form with this expansion. And once I am applying the limits, I can now just equate it and solve further to get the values of a square b square c square. So a square plus b square plus c square upon 2 into 2 which is 4 it's equal to 17. From this idea I get a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 68. So having a determined answer of the limit and equating it with 17 we got a square b square and c square the sum of that as 68. But we need to find 5 a square plus b square so I don't need c here. So from the previous expression, I got C as 2A. So if I substitute C as 2A in this expansion, let's see what it gets me. So I get A square plus B square. C, if I write it 2A, that is equal to 68. That gives you A square plus B square. 
2a the whole square that is 4a square is equal to 68. So 4a square plus a square that is 5a square plus b square is equal to 68. So with that, we get the answer for the question which is asked to us. That is the value of this expression. And the value of this expression turns out to give us answer as 68. And if you see the option that matches here with the question, it is option. <clears throat> so B becomes the correct answer for the value of 5A square plus B square, which is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question. So we just needed to solve the entire question of limits using this expansion of the functions using Taylor series. So once we use this idea, we just found our expression still x square. We equated the term and the coefficient of x equal to zero because we should not get an undetermined form of the limit here. Once we do not get that as equal to, we equated that with equal to zero, we were left with only this expression. Once we were left with this expression, we just canceled out x square to give us the expansion. And the value of the expression turns out 5a square plus b square is 68. <laughs> that matches with option B. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on limits where we need to use these ideas of Taylor series to find our answers. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE means as well as 11th and 12th. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share this video with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of the questions on JW. Thank you.